What up, dogs? Tape here, and to the face, to the face. No, I'm just kidding. This actually isn't Tape. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, who the hell is this guy? This isn't A7. What's going on here, man? Come on. No, it's, uh, you probably haven't heard of me before. I don't know if you have or not, but my name is Shoppers Row, and yeah, I'm using a different PSN in this because it's my new PSN, but yeah, my YouTube is Shoppers Row, and that's my main PSN also. I play on the PlayStation Network just like AA7 or gaming footage or AJ, whatever you want to kiss all him. Um, <laughs> he's letting me upload a game onto his channel, which is pretty cool, pretty nice of him. I'm really glad to have the opportunity. Thank you very much, man. I love you, man. I love you. Um, anyways, let's jump right into the gameplay here. I'll be using the Intervention with FMGA and I think Sleight of Hand, Stopping Power, and Steady Aim. This is a game of Search and Destroy on Wasteland. And the reason I'm using Steady Aim over Ninja is because I haven't unlocked Ninja yet on this account. Otherwise, I'd be using Ninja. Trust me, it's a much better advantage to have Ninja, in my opinion. Unless you're going for, like, no scopes across the map, then, of course, you want Steady Aim, but, you know. The majority of their time, especially when you want to do, like, actually well, you want to use Ninja in search anyway for sure um anyways i i like to upload games and with commentary like this on my channel which is i mean a lot of people do that now and um yeah i don't know i i have around i think it's 1700 ish subscribers something like that i don't know how many i think as7 has like what 4k just over 4k probably i don't know i can't remember um but yeah, if you guys like this, you should definitely come check out my channel. Um, anyway, so I'm in a clutch situation here, which means basically I'm going to have to face multiple enemies um, with no one else left on my team. And I believe I pulled off this round, I think. Um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Ah! Um, yeah, the only round we lose is the round that I die in. So, cha. Um, you'll notice Wasteland... Um, Okay, it's not it's not one of my favorite maps to play in Search and Destroy because it seems like you kind of have to camp to do well, and I mean I'm not I don't think I'm camping in this video, but um because there's so many thermal scopes and and so many like little places that you can like lie in the grass and stuff that'll make you hidden, so it's really hard to run around. But um that's why you'll see me like I don't know like you can't really like sometimes when I'm standing in like the middle of the field you. I'll see a guy or whatever, and I'm basically have to hard scope him because you can't quick scope a guy from like that far away, and because like the risk of you missing is just so high, and when you hit him, it's like, er, sorry, what am I talking about? If you miss him, like he can just easily take you out with like an ACR from there. Like you'll see, I basically end up um, running away here because I'm pretty sure that guy has like an assault rifle, just like everyone, or either that or a UMP. Um, but yeah. I don't think I get the defuse this round. Er, what am I talking about? Wow. <laughs> uh, the, um, I get the kill there. That's pretty funny. I don't know how I killed that guy from that far away. That was ridiculous. Bam, bitch. Um, Chia. Uh, so, I, I assumed you guys would like, uh, sniper gameplay like this. That's why I chose it. Um, because I know that A7, I don't know what, I'm just gonna call him A7. <laughs> um, he plays a lot of search and destroy and he likes to snipe and it's actually really fun playing with him because he goes for crazy no scopes and stuff and it's really funny just to see what he tries to pull off and ninja diffuses and crazy stuff he's a crazy guy um so yeah here i hard scope that guy because i'm just i'm cool like that and if you're wondering my kill streaks this game were the predator the harrier and pavlo because i forgot to change them and it actually kind of worked out I got the Predator and the Harrier, I believe, but I didn't quite get to the payload because I ended up dying. Um, but yeah, I take a guy with my Predator missile here, and usually air support's pretty good on Wasteland, um, for the most part, unless people are using cold-blooded. So uh, you'll see I get one or two kills, I think, with my Harrier when I get it. I, keep, I just keep spoiling everything for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just one of those guys who like comes up and... Uh, and you're like, oh, I want to see that new movie, Avatar. Yeah, well, at the end, the chick dies. I haven't even seen Avatar. I really should do see that. Um, 
But, you know, like, one of those guys who just, like, blurts out the ending. He's like, oops, sorry, did I ruin it for you? Like, yes. Let, yes, you did ruin it for me. God. And you'll see there earlier, I get a hit marker, and it kind of screws me over, because I have to still focus my attention on the same guy. And then this other, it gives this other guy time to come up and uh, kill me. Wow, really? Wow, I didn't even notice what that was. Holy shit, that's a thermal aug. Oh, my God. What a beast. What a legend. Oh, I am using Ninja this game. Huh, I thought I didn't have it unlocked. Wow, I'm just making mess ups left and right. <laughs> um, anyways, so I call in my Harriers here, and it's always a good idea to wait till the next round so you can maximize your killage. Um, and I don't think I get too many kills. I usually don't use Harrier in search. Like, I usually go with um, either UAV, counter UAV, predator, or UAV, predator, precision airstrike, because I don't like having that Harrier in the air. And being super loud and obnoxious like that because I can't hear anything on my headset. And, uh, I don't know. A lot of people agree with me. A lot of people don't. I don't know. It's kind of contradictory. But, uh, yeah. This is a really random commentary. I really hope everyone doesn't hate me for it. Um, anyway. So, this guy finishes it off with his, uh, elite ACR skills. 100% MLG. For the win. Um, and, uh, shock. So, think of a question. I'm gonna think of a question for you guys. Um, what do you like better, sniping in Modern Warfare 2 or sniping in Call of Duty 4? Because I mean, there's. I like to play Call of Duty 4 a lot too, and uh, I I find they have their ups and downs. You know, like their pros and cons. If you catch my drift, um, like in Call of Duty 4, you don't scope in as fast because you have Slide of Hand Pro in Modern Warfare 2. So, that is kind of annoying when you switch from one to the other. But, um, in Call of Duty 4, um, it seemed like it was a lot easier to run around with a sniper. Like, I could go into, like, domination or something and usually do pretty good running around with a sniper. I mean, not, like, blindly running around, but, you know, like, like not camping. But in this game, it's like, every gun kills so quick and registers right away, so it's like, you just die like instantly. You don't even have like a chance. So it renders snipers kind of useless, especially with the no recoil assault rebels. And uh pretty sure I turn on this kid really hard here. Oh get rape. Get fucking turned on, bitch. And uh I start defusing the bomb here while I'm flash because I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Fuck. I'm such a tool. Um and uh shock anyways so yeah about uh the call of duty 4 and modern warfare 2 sniping um yeah i really like having sleight of hand but you know i kind of gonna have to go with the call of duty 4 because you get less hit markers that is the deciding factor for me it is just the most annoying thing when you it's like really crucial that you kill that guy and you get the perfect quick scope off and it just hits him like right in the chest and he's like nope nope you're not getting that kill you can't have it We're, you're not allowed you're not allowed to have that kill and it gives you a hit marker, and then he like does like a friggin' he uses like a friggin' thermal RPD to like hit fire you like across the map through three walls somehow. God, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I I don't know, I don't know. I really want to know what you guys think actually about that. That'd be really interesting. And I hard scope the shit out of that guy because I'm a pro like that. Um. And again, they get the plant off, and there's a riot shield guy, and he's like, hey, yo, what's up? And he's, like, sitting there, and I, uh, it's always a good idea to use your grenades to your advantage when you face a riot shield, riot, eh, royal, <laughs> when you face a riot shield guy, and, uh, you'll see it's really good to, uh, team up with your teammates to, uh, help you out there, and I think this is the last round. Yeah, it is. Um, because your teammate can, like, distract him, and then you can run around and shoot him or knife him or something in the back. And, but if you're by yourself, what you want to do is stun them and run behind them or try and send text them or something. But uh, that's that looks like it's the end of the game. And I'm pretty sad because I really like talking to you guys. And it's, it's, it's been so fun. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed this, please come check out my channel. There should be a link in the description if AS7 is a pro. And thank you very much for letting me post on your channel, AJ. Um, me love you long time. See you guys later.